Okay, today we're going to build chords on the minor scale. And you probably know this, but uh, if you don't, there are three kinds of minor scales. Natural minor, that goes along with the key signature. Harmonic minor is generally the one we use in uh, both classical music and jazz. And then melodic minor as well. So we're going to build chords on the harmonic minor scale because of this raised seventh. A natural minor, this is uh, A minor by the way, a natural minor follows a key signature which is no sharps or flats. So if we took this sharp away here, we would have a natural minor scale. Okay, when we make it harmonic, harmonic minor scale is real important because of the raised seventh. And what that does is, as you'll see in a minute, it gives us a major five chord, which we need. Oops. Okay. So, as you'll see in a second, we're going to take each scale degree and we're going to build a triad on it, like we did with the major scale in another video. But this is going to show you the qualities of the triads in a minor scale. And now these are all always the same in every key. So, let's take the root A and we'll make a triad out of that. Remember, triads are in thirds, so we have an A minor chord. Okay, and this is the one chord, and we make it a small. This is the Roman numeral. This would be the chord symbol, just AMI. Okay, next scale degree is B. Plug in the thirds here in the scale, and we get, lo and behold, a diminished chord. Okay, so 2 is diminished, and we would call that B diminished. Now we're only dealing with triads here, so it's not a 7th. Okay, the 3 chord is built on C, because it's a 3rd scale degree. Now here's where our raised 7th comes in. We need to plug that in. If it's a G, we need to make it a G sharp. And you should know that that is a augmented chord. Whoops, sorry. Okay, so three is augmented. Whoops, now it's a plus. It's not an X, it's a plus. Okay, three is augmented and we would call that C plus. C augmented chord. Next one. The four chord has to be in minor, minor, and lo and behold it is. Okay, so Roman numeral four. Okay, one, four, and five are important. And here's where we get to the five chord. We need that G sharp because what that does is gives us a major five, which when a seventh is added, creates a tritone. If I added a seventh there, the G, the G sharp and D would create a tritone, which would, would, would want to pull back to the one chord. Okay, so five is major. <coughs> Next one. Building on F, going up in thirds. Six is also major in minor keys. Here was the five chord. <laughs> Six chord. Okay, and we get to the seventh chord just like in major keys. The seventh chord in minor, because we have a G sharp there, is diminished. There's that tritone right there. That tritone wants to move inward back to the one chord. So we get our harmony, uh, much of our harmony sounds the way it does because of the function of the five chord to the one chord and the seventh chord, which really just contains a seventh right there. If you took an E and put it over there, you would have a five seven chord. But in this case, it's the seventh and it's diminished. Okay, and then, we, and then we're back to the one chord. So, uh, in review, when you build 
triads along a minor scale you get these triads. One is minor, two is diminished, three is augmented, four is minor, five has to be major because it needs to pull back to the one chord, sixth is major, the seventh chord is diminished just like in major keys, and the one chord is minor. And we use the harmonic minor scale to build those. <coughs> now you certainly could build you could probably build triads on the other scales, but we use these as our basis for building triads on chord tones. Hope that helped you out. Oops, let me write the chord symbols above here. This would be D minor. E, capital E would be just E major. Remember these are just triads. F, capital F. thing here. Okay, G sharp diminished and back to A minor. Okay, so if you had any confusion on that or if you've never seen how to do that, that's the way to do it. So keep in mind that major scales and minor scales build completely different um, pattern of triads up and down the scale. Uh, learn those and um, you'll certainly be on your way to mastering uh, some basic harmony which will help you in your jazz playing and your jazz writing as well. So that's all for today and we'll talk to you soon.